How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what we've got for you is some brand new FIFA 22 rating prediction. As you can see by the thumbnail, we have got Liverpool today. I want to quickly disclaim something uh, or put a little disclaimer in there. So rating prediction and deserve ratings are two different things. Whether I think a player deserves a certain rating is different to my prediction. And the reason why I'm giving certain players upgrades or downgrades isn't just necessarily on how good or bad I think the player is, but also because EA typically give upgrades and downgrades based on certain factors as well. So, for example, the biggest thing is players get downgrades based on long-term injuries. For example, Van Dijk was out for an entire season. Um, you know, Kevin De Bruyne's been out for a large part of last season. In previous years, Pogba's been out for a large part of the season and got a massive downgrade as well. So that is a large portion of, as to why certain players have had big downgrades and why they haven't and whatnot. And then upgrades isn't also necessarily based on, you know, a player being good for a year. It's also based on the move, how much money they were they were bought for it, and certain factors like that. So with that being said, let's hop straight into the Liverpool ratings. And of course, let me in the comments down below your, your rating predictions and what you agree and disagree with. We're starting off with... Uh, the first three players, Alisson, Trent, Alexander-Arnold, and Joe Gomez, or I call him Go Gomez. Uh, so, Alisson, the captain, is a 90. I know he had a rough patch for about a month last year. However, I don't think he was bad enough to deserve a downgrade. I don't think he's actually done anything particularly wrong. He had a couple of bad games, but I think he's still a world-class goalkeeper. I would say top three, top five in the world. I think Alisson's class, and that's coming from a Man United fan. Which, yeah, I'm a United fan, so, you know, bear that in mind. Um, but I think Alisson's class. Now, I'll give a little downgrade to Trent, because I think Trent just had a, a bad year. It, not necessarily a bad year performance-wise, but a bad year by his own standards. I think he falls victim of his own standards sometimes. He had two very, very good years. So, when he had a year that he wasn't necessarily performing amazingly in, um, I think he will get a downgrade to an 86. I think it will still be a walkout. Now, I actually upped his pace, downgraded his defending uh, as the main portion, because from what I've seen from Trent, his defending really lacks at times. You know, I think we've also seen this this season as well, you know, against Burnley, I think against Norwich at times. Was it not play the first game of the season? So, uh, I don't think Trent's a bad player. I think Trent's actually a really good right back. I think probably top two, top three right backs in the world. Uh, uh, maybe even the best right. I can't even think of a right back off the top of my head that's better than Trent. Maybe Carl Walker, maybe Cancelo. Maybe. Um, but yeah, so 86 I think is pretty fair. And then Joe Gomez, I gave him a downgrade uh, just based on the fact that he was injured for a large portion of the season last season. Um, it's just typical practice from EA. If a player gets injured and isn't playing for a large part of the season, typically they get a downgrade. So Joe Gomez, a downgrade to 82 rated. I thought it was pretty fair. I was quite fair with that one, I feel like. On to the next set of defenders, we've got Virgil van Dijk, who I gave a downgrade to again due to the fact that he was injured for... Pretty much the entire season last season. And I, I think I've given 89. I think he could even get an 88. Not that I think he deserves an 88, but it's just EA. And that's how they run things. They typically give big, big downgrades if players are injured. Uh, Konate gave a plus one due to the big money move. I actually didn't think Konate was necessarily amazing last season for Leipzig or Leipzig. Uh, I, not that I watch them that often, but from what I did watch them, you know, whether it be in the Champions League or whether it be the odd Bundesliga game that we watched here or there that was on BT Sport, I didn't think he stood out massively, but I think he will get an upgrade. And I think he'll actually do really well under Klopp as well. I think he's the actual kind of defender that, that he'll do well under Klopp. And then Matip again, another downgrade just due to injuries, really. Uh, that's pretty much it. Regardless, I, I do think Virgil van Dijk and Matip have been really solid to start this year off, but it's not just about this year. It's actually about last year and the last season. And that's the biggest factor. And, and to no fault of his own with Van Dijk and, and with Matic with their injuries, I just think that year will give him a downgrade based on the fact they were out for most of the season. All right, now we've got the next set of players. We've got Robertson, who I kept the same at 87 rated. I think he deserves to be 87. He's actually a good player. Um, not that the other players aren't good players, just he is a good player in my opinion. He's definitely a uh, a top left back in the world. Um, I thought he deserved to get... I didn't think he deserved a downgrade necessarily. I thought he had a good Euros for Scotland, despite Scotland not getting through, I, you know... Pretty much had to try and put the team on his back for half the, half the games that they played. Um, and also for Liverpool, I didn't think he had a bad season. Um, I, I could see him getting an 86 rated card. I gave him 87 to be fair because I think I was quite harsh with the other ratings. Um, Simicast, I gave an upgrade to. He's a decent player. I actually like Simicast. I think he's going to be a good left back for, uh, for whichever team. He, if he stays at Liverpool or whether he moves on to a team starter in a year or two i don't know but i think it'd be a good left back and then henderson again a minus one two uh just mainly because he's aging uh, you know i think i think a downgrade for a lot of aging players um you know wasn't that prevalent last year he, he, he was also injured uh for a, a big portion of the season uh, he didn't play a huge amount of games i think he played about half a season 
So, uh, yeah, I could just see him getting a minus one. But, yeah, I think he's still a decent CDM. The next set of midfielders, we've got Fabinho, Naby Keita, and Milner. I actually gave an upgrade to Fabinho because I thought Fabinho was class last year. I think he was absolutely outstanding. Uh, amazing utility player. I thought he played really well at centre-back. I thought he played really, really well uh, when he played at uh, DM for Liverpool. I just thought, in general, um, he was very reliable for Liverpool. And in, a, in an injury crisis, he really shone through the ranks in my he played really, really well. So I give Fabinho um, a, a plus one because I just thought he's class. I think he's probably one of the best DMs in the whole world. Uh, and he's one of the players that I really wish United signed when we had the chance. We actually went for Matic instead. I think that was a big mistake. Uh, Naby Keita, I'll give a, a big downgrade to him. Minus three. Naby Keita, he's made a paper. He, he absolutely is made a paper. The guy is injured more than he plays. I think he played three games last season. And, and it's the whole reason why... Uh, I don't want to give him uh, any less, uh, sorry, any more than a 78 rated card just because, you know, he, he barely played in his first season. He barely played last season. Um, I know that he's a decent player when he does play, but it's also based on consistency, how often they play in injuries and whatnot. And I do think he'll get a, a big downgrade uh, for 22. And then Milner is 78. He's just getting old. I actually think Milner is a great utility player as well, but he's just getting old uh, and he can't really do the things he used to be able to do uh, in terms of, 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 you know, his speed and his pace and his. You know, he's still got good decent stamina, though. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, I think a 78 is fair. All right, we've got another couple of big downgrades here. And a nice upgrade. So, uh, Thiago, minus two. I just, I, he's not been good at all since he's joined Liverpool. Now, Thiago at Bayern was class. But since joining Liverpool, he's not been very good. He wasn't very good in the Euros when given a chance. I, again, maybe it's the Man United bias in me talking. I just don't think that he was very good, in my opinion. I do I know there'll be Liverpool fans saying, no, lad, he definitely deserves an 87 raid card, mate. He's better than Pogba. He's better than Bruno. He's way better. Well, that, you know, you might think that. I personally don't think Thiago has done anything at all in the Liverpool shirt to warrant an 84 or an 85 rated card. I think 83 is more than deserved. Uh, and I think that's probably what he'll get based on the fact that he's just been, you know, pretty poor in my opinion. Uh, Harvey Elliott, I think, is a class player. I think he's a player for the future. They give him a 73, 73 rated card. Uh, a big upgrade. I think that he'll definitely uh, have at least 73. Maybe even a, a gold non-rare card. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I think he's a class player. And I think that he's going to do really well at the Klopp. And then Firmino, he's just not the player of he used to be. He's had, he's had a very, very, I would say, quiet season. To be fair to him. Um, and I just think that a minus two is definitely on the cards. He might stay a walkout. I don't think he will, though. I think an 85 is probably more fair. And I think that's probably what he will go with as well. And then we have the last three, the front three. Uh, I've gone with Salah with a plus one. I actually think Salah is a phenomenal footballer. I think he's actually a bit underrated in some people's eyes. Uh, I think Salah is easily top two, top three best players in the Premier League at the moment. Um, maybe, maybe now Ronaldo's here. Maybe he's, you know, top four. I'd say Ronaldo. I, I, I'm trying to think of players I put above him, to be honest. I don't... I would say he's on par with the likes of Kane and players like that. I know, obviously, Kane assists more. And I think that's what probably puts him ahead a little bit. But I think Salah's absolutely phenomenal. I think he's great. And I think he's been great for the last four years consistently. Uh, so a 91 rated card, I think, is fair. I, I would I would put him on par rating-wise with Neymar from last year. Um, so, yeah, I think that's honestly fair. Uh, Jota, give an 82. I could give him an 83. I think he definitely could get a board, uh, a board card, an 83 card. Uh, however, he was out for a large portion of the season, again, from injury last year. Crazy how many injuries Liverpool had last year. Uh, so, you know, I think I will reserve and give him an 82 and then maybe an 83 next year, an 84 next year, an 85 next year, depending on how he plays. And then Mane have gone with a minus two. Poor season from him, unfortunately. And again, it might be a victim of his own standards, but just a poor season in general. I think a minus two is definitely on the cards. But that is it for the Liverpool ratings. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh, with my rating predictions. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments down below. And if you are a scouser, please go easy on me. I'm at eight. Please. Just take it easy on me. Um, no, but uh, go easy on me if you disagree harshly. Um, let's have a polite conversation in the comments. And uh, stay tuned for more ratings in the next couple of days. Peace.